Und ich habe ihr wirklich gehofft, I was really hoping tonight to speak in English, that my wife would come here. Actually, her ex-boyfriend was visiting her after she left just two months ago. And I hear now, and also he wrote to me, her ex-boyfriend, that his impression is, yeah, she had to get away from me because I'm so terrible. And he just saved her and helped her, and she's happy now, and I should leave her alone, basically. I'm like, oh, wow. My wife changed into a different person after she met this guy. Not a good man, not nice. To him. He's acting like a nice guy. He's got a, a chair as a, a professor of anatomy at the University of Witten. But then also he works in a different name as a photographer. I told the university that months ago after my wife left. I was so worried, right? That's why I wrote that. And then he said, back, take that back. It isn't me, tell him it was a mistake or I will sue you. And so he's threatening me with an attorney, already did, you know, uh, but what am I supposed to do? See, nobody cares about my side of the story, but my wife, the love of my life, my woman, my baby, my boo-boo, I call her, she went against me. Wow, this is so inhumane, how people can be. It's so hateful. It's like I talk, she's a different person, but she lives a good life now. She's happy. She's getting a lot of attention, a lot of money also, yeah, and good things, you know, but wow. I'm like, I married you in Turkey. You know, I came over four times before I got you married with papers. It took so much work. Oh my gosh, love you. You said you to love me, to be there with me. We grow old together. Well, we'll grow old. She grows maybe through her twenties and thirties. So I can be there for her if time permits, maybe even through her forties, right? But we, we have a life together. But this is hateful. Oh my gosh. She turns just like that. You know, people like that who turn on you, give you shit. And then they make you to be the bad person. And they treat you like you're crazy. This is not right. It's my wife. She says my name. And they're treating me like this. I can't even talk to her. He called me tonight, said, oh, you can talk to her 30 seconds and then click. And I have no way to talk to her. That's just wrong. How would you act in my situation? Think about that. It's very young, yeah, but my love of my life, I love this woman. She's amazing, not because she looks very wow, but she has, I mean, she has issues. Everybody has issues, right? I know that. But I took that. She never took my issues, right? She always wanted a good life and was worrying about because I live with my mom. I don't have money. I have debt, you know? And sometimes maybe I could talk a little much, but it wasn't really like that she ever listened or cared to know about me. And the man who loved her, that's why, you know, I went through all of this, married her at 18, I met her, I was like, what does this young woman want with me? But still, I believed her when she said, let's get married for the rest of our life, we'll be stronger, we'll be good for you. And she's treating me like this. Everybody thinks I'm bad. Everybody hates me. He wants to sue me, right? Like I'm this bad person. Acting like, oh, I can talk to you. She doesn't, and he's like, she doesn't want to talk to me. She doesn't want to talk to me, okay? She's my wife. She just went away. What the heck did I do? That, that justifies that. I mean, really, this is just horrible. How people are. Anyway, bring this to a conclusion. Welcome to the School of Life, where we learn from and through experience, and where we learn, especially from difficult experience, and people who are difficult and give us a hard time. You know? That's the thing, holding up that mirror, right? When people don't like what they see, they get feisty. You know, feistiness, especially in women. Ooh. I know how it is me, Christoph, getting pissed off. I'm very much aware of that. I can control that, and I learned that really also from my first marriage of 12 years. I talked earlier about that. I don't know if you remember, I was married to a manic depressive bipolar person for 12 years. The first woman in my life. So you, of course you can understand I was so grateful and love God sent me even in the form of this young woman, the second love of my life. Wow. And then this, and this is so cruel what is happening now in this whole situation, but I cannot force her. I cannot force her. Of course not. I let her go. I let her go actually a long time ago. I'm not on where she is, my wife, and with this guy and her friends, they all look at me and shake their heads and like, this guy's weird, no wonder you, of course you have to get away, we protect you, come here, you live with us. And she's happy there, young woman, of course. And everybody putting like a fence around her that she doesn't, oh, don't talk to him, he's bad. They want to protect her, keep her. Deep down, she loves me, I know that. And that's why she's also, she doesn't want to talk because she's comfortable where she is. She doesn't want to remember. And this Mark Brackman knows because he wants it for herself. She's a great woman, young woman, wow. You know, perfect for him, for his collection, right? But like, I love her, she's my wife. Please hope for me and pray for me, you know, that, wow, I miss you. I feel so terrible, so horrible. I've cried so many times, oh my gosh. But I get, well, angry, it's like, it's hard to see how people are, how cruel people can be. It's like amazing. Wow, there is a lesson there. And maybe something for the new year to consider. 
to be gentle with each other, to be kind with each other, you know, and to be listening to each other's side. And so like, I don't want, like my ex-wife, when she went crazy, she did this, la, 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 la. Don't do that. Listen to what the person has to say. That's what love really is. Everything else is a joke. Everything is out of fear. It's all about fear. But Andan is acting is out of fear, not wanting to talk to me, you know? This wasn't happy, right? But then I tell you, hey, life is not about just you being happy, Miss Princess. Especially you want to be married. This is tough work, right? Really. And I trusted her. She'd be the woman of my life. And then this, just like that, it's just wrong. So the last word has been spoken in this situation. So stay tuned. And one day I will be also here. I will be more on Zoom to create this community. I also can appreciate your help. Communication community and energy exchange. Knowledge exchange, so to speak. People share knowledge, share experiences. People listen to each other. People value each other. People are nice to each other. Check it out. Come there, make your home, meet people, get the ball rolling. Also with people in Africa, creating an amazing project there. Wow, it's going to be really huge. So thanks for your time. I see you again maybe tomorrow on the 2nd of January. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Thank you. I wish you a good night and all the best. Thanks for watching and keep it real. Thank you.